There's one my friend who actually the co-ought, but oh, yeah, I, I don't think it's without his permission. I cannot sort of mention his name. <laughs> oh, one my friend, uh, my friend, uh, one time we discussed about ethics, moral ethics in business field. Then, uh, then I told him, oh, God-fearing also, you see, uh, something very important. Then he answered, oh, concept of God-fearing is 18th century. Uh, now not much sort of effect. importance. Right? No, effect. No. Uh, effect. Not much effect. He told me like that. So I think we Buddhists also, when there are uh, some Buddhist monks here also, we Tibetan, Tibetan Buddhist monk also here. <laughs> so we sometimes, you see, we preach other people contentment, but in our own house, oh, we need a lot of articles. <laughs> <laughs> so that also the indication we are not that much serious. <laughs> right? So therefore, now large portion of humanity not much bother about religion. But these also human being, part of human being, important part of humanity. So we must find ways and means to reach these people about importance of moral ethics. Then we must find more secular way to carry message of ethics. ethics. So that I usually call universal value, whether religious-minded or non, non-religious-minded. Uh, no difference. Uh, no, difference. Uh, no differences. So my, now again I want to make clear, um, among my friend, uh, some people uh, have great reservation the secular ethics. Uh, because uh, they consider secular means, the very meaning of secular is some kind of rejection or disrespect about religion. Uh, but in India, India's constitution itself based on secularism. And Mahatma Gandhi and some other sort of leaders, they, they are uh, their way of thinking is very, very secular way, but meantime, very religious minded. So when I say secular, does not mean rejection or disrespect religion, but rather respect all religions and no preference about this religion or that religion. Equal, equally respect. So that's meaning, according some in, according some Indian, Indian, that's the meaning of secular. So when I talk secular ethics, this is the meaning. Uh, with that meaning, this is the meaning. So, so I usually call the the affection, human compassion. These are uh, universal value, and these some extent bio, biological factor. So itself is a secular ethics. The way to approach, promote that also secular way without touching religion, simply use our common experience, common sense and scientific findings. One important, we come from our mother. All, I think, few thousand people here, all come from our mother. And they, at very young age, I think except a few cases, otherwise I think one's own mother take fullest care and provide us maximum affection. That's the way, and mother's milk. That's the way 
we survived, we grown up. So we can see those children who at a young age, who experienced fullest care from mother, their mind, their mental state, as well as the physical state, their education, everything much more smooth. Then, most important, the rest of their life, they can show affection to others. Whole, re whole life remain more kinded person, kind-hearted person. Then those children who at early age lack of mother's care, and sometimes even abuse. Then these children physically also suffer, mentally also suffer, and most important, rest of their life always remain cold and difficult to respond to other suffering right? when they saw yeah, other, other suffer. suffer. Sometimes there's no feel, not much feeling about others' pain. Then easily give like that. So that's our common experience. Just at press meeting, I mentioned you see, my own case, and uh, uh, occasionally I mentioned my own case. Uh, my mother, just a villager, a villager sort of women, farmer, no education, illiteracy, illiterate, Ill illiterate, ah. illiterate, ah. illiterate, yeah. illiterate. Uh, but a very, very kind one. So, sometimes I feel, uh, at that time, of course, uh, my part, no appreciation of my mother's kindness. Even I manipulate, I think I take advantage. So, the, at the press, I, I mentioned, you see, the, my mother's kindness actually, in a way, spoil me. So I become more aggressive. Uh, you know, my mother, you see, often you see carry me on, on the shoulder. Shoulders. Shoulder. Then uh, I hold. hold my mother's ear. Mm -hmm. I want to this side, go that. <laughs> and this side. <laughs> So, so one young boy, such a sort of stupid <laughs> uh, bully on own, one's own mother. <laughs> so I think my mother's kindness a little bit spoiled me. <laughs> so now, now later, now these days, I really feel, oh, I have certain amount of compassion that Actually, the seed which I received from my mother, that's the seed of today's my compassion. So I really feel grateful to my mother. So all, everybody, hmm? everybody, uh, generally speaking, is the same sort of experience. So we, everybody, uh, come our, our, our life, re, the begin our life, uh, begin our life under mother's affection. 